The National Defense Volunteer Forces or NDVF Lithuanian, Krasto Apsugos Savanoriu Pajegos KASP, previously Savanoriskoji Krasto Apsugos Tarniba SCAT is an important part of the Lithuanian Armed Forces. Volunteer forces were officially established on 17 January 1991 by the law of the Supreme Council of Lithuania on the National Defense Volunteer Service providing basis for establishing Voluntary National Defense Service. This decision made legal already existing volunteer formations that began appearing as early as 1990. Voluntary National Defense Service was reorganized into the National Defense Volunteer Force. In 2003 Volunteer Force was integrated into the Lithuanian Land Force. Tasks of volunteer soldiers were inevitably altered when Lithuania became a full-fledged member of NATO. Approach of territorial defense was changed into territorial defense and training of modern active reserve. There are around 5,000 volunteers and around 800 professional soldiers in the force. History By the end of 1991 all units of the National Defense System were formed on a voluntary basis. On the 11th of January 1991 several hundred of the Parliament defenders took an oath of allegiance to the Republic of Lithuania and with support from the public began preparing for a possible attack against the Lithuanian Supreme Council building, presently the Parliament of Lithuania. Other volunteers joined units to protect facilities of the Press Palace, Vilnius Television Tower, and other strategic assets when the Soviet Union was attempting to overthrow the legal authorities of Lithuania and reintroduce an occupational regime in January 1991. On 17 January 1991 the Supreme Council of the Republic of Lithuania passed the law on the National Defense Volunteer Service, which became the basis for the establishment of the then Voluntary National Defense Service In March 1991 the VNDS staff, an operational platoon, the VNDS Training Center were formed as well as 200 company size units were organized into eight territorial defense regions. In accordance with an order issued by Director General of Department of National Defense, Colonel Jonas Gekas was appointed as the Chief of Staff of the Voluntary National Defense Service. During the 1991 Soviet coup d'état attempt, volunteer serviceman Arturas Sokolowskis lost his life in the line of duty when defending the Lithuanian Supreme Council on 21 August. Once the coup d'état was defeated, NDVS units received an order to block the Soviet forces in order to prevent them from bringing replacement troops from Russia into Lithuania. At that time 44 guard posts were installed where 201 NDVS members would simultaneously stand on duty. At the end of 1991, the volunteer forces embarked upon the protection of national strategic assets. Volunteer units provided support to civilian authorities in the event of natural or industrial disasters. In the summer of 1992, thousands of volunteers assisted in fighting fires in wooded areas and peat lands. They participated in cleaning hazardous spill on the Namunas River subsequent to an ecological disaster in Belarus. They also took part in relief activities during the flood of the Namunas Delta in the western part of Lithuania. In 1993, during a visit of Pope John Paul II to Lithuania, thousands of volunteers helped the police maintain public order. The volunteer units took part in the first military exercises organized by the Lithuanian Armed Forces including the first joint military exercises Safeguard 93, Wind of Spring 1997-1998, Baltic Challenge 1998, Amber Hope Series. As of 1994 members of the volunteer forces have been participating international peacekeeping missions. In 1998 the Voluntary National Defense Service SCAT in Lithuanian was reorganized as the National Defense Volunteer Forces KASP, in Lithuanian and became an integral part of the Lithuanian Armed Forces. Since 2004 the Lithuanian Grand Duke Butigaitis Dragoon Battalion has been assigned to the volunteer forces. On 1 July 2005 the 9th Territorial Unit of the Kestutis Military District of the Volunteer Force was restructured. The force units and members have been placed under the control of the 3rd Territorial Unit of the Zamaichai Military District and the 2nd Territorial Unit of Darius and Garenas Military District. On 1 September 2005 the 4th Territorial Unit of Taurus Military District was restructured. 
The force units and member have been placed under subordination of the 1st Territorial Unit of Dainava Military District and the 2nd Territorial Unit of Darius and Garena's Military District. Structure The structure of the NDVF is as follows 1st Territorial Unit Dainava Military District, Alatis 2nd Territorial Unit Darius and Garena's Military District, Kanas 3rd Territorial Unit Zamaichai Military District, Klaipeda 5th Territorial Unit Vitus Military District, Panavezis 6th Territorial Unit Prisakelimo Military District, Shole 8th Territorial Unit Digioji Kova Military District, Vilnius Functions Tasks of NDVF are training volunteers and other members of active reserve, units of NDVF for conducting territorial and collective defense tasks, preparing and participating in international operations, guarding important objects of defense infrastructure, state and municipal administration, and render assistance in case of natural disasters and catastrophes. Provide trained personnel for regular units of the Lithuanian Armed Forces, by transferring them to a higher readiness level or deployment to multinational operations. Prepare specialists of various fields and infantry units of up to company size for international deployment. Participates in providing host nation support to NATO or the Allied Forces. Conducts peacetime tasks defined in legislation. Plans and conducts warfare training of volunteer soldiers. Develops cooperation with corresponding organizations in other countries regarding matters of warfare training of NDFV. Provides support for governmental and municipal institutions according to the order set by legal acts. Performs tasks of guarding vital objects of defense infrastructure, state and municipalities. Represents Lithuanian armed forces in the community, strengthens connection between the community and the armed forces, organizes and conducts military patriotic education of youth, maintains close relations with local community, participates in public life, festivals and events within its scope, is responsible for delivering technical provision and supplies for subordinate units, controls consumption of supplies, organizes maintenance, and effective and economical usage according to the purpose of the NDVF military and other equipment and other assets, trains soldiers of NDVF and provides them with appropriate service conditions, performs other functions related to the tasks of NDVF if so designated by laws or other legal acts. Topic equipment Colt M1911 Heckler & Koch G36 Ka AK4 MTFN Mag MG3 Carl Gustav AT4 Gaz 66 Zil 131 Mercedes-Benz 1213 Unimog Yakovlev Yak 55